More inside Freedom Caucus member, Congressman Andy Biggs. Uh, Congressman, thanks for joining. Uh, the, the, the MacArthur Amendment, it, it seems interesting to me in a sense that it takes issues central to the concerns of the Freedom Caucus and kind of kicks them to the states. Uh, what, uh, have you polled your members, you yourself? Is this okay with you? Well, um, I've not polled members. I've, I've been making calls trying to find out what's going on because we don't have any actual language, as you say. We're dealing with kind of bullet points and ideas and, and, uh, and tentative uh, agreements, and, and we have to see the, the language. Uh, and I will say that everybody's working real hard to give President Trump a victory. They want to do everything they possibly can to deliver on this short of actually repealing Obamacare. And that's kind of what, what, what's causing all the problem is they, we just don't want to totally repeal Obamacare, apparently, but we want to do but all you, kinds of But other you've things come to grips with that, to though. It. You and other Freedom Caucus members have come to grips with the fact that this will not be a, a, a repeal, that it will be some form of compromise short of repeal. So that being the case, you've given up a big chunk of what drove you, what drove your, your, your passion. Uh, what else are you willing to give up? Well, I don't know that I'm willing to give up a straight repeal yet. I was willing to move to the 2015 bill. Um, but what I'm interested in seeing is what is really going to be in the writing? What is the amendment going to look like? And uh, odds are it's not going to be, at least for me personally, since I promised repeal, I don't know how you can go back on your promise right. to repeal. Well, apparently so, uh, Mark, uh, Representative Mark Meadows, though, has been involved in this uh, Yes. Uh, um, yeah. You know, obviously he's looking out for for his caucus uh, colleagues. Uh, so he right. wouldn't sell you down the river per se. If, uh, he would obviously try to co cobble together something that's that that can squeak through and get their their goal. They say they think that this can get at least 20 members of your yeah. caucus. Yeah, I think I think there. You have to understand that most of the people in our caucus, including me, we would like to get to a yes on something, but but in reality. We haven't taken an official position. What we've been doing is trying to work through, and, and, and Mark has worked very hard, and he's been working every day on this with Tom MacArthur, and they're trying to get something done. And, um, but at the same token, there's some of us who say, look, you know, the easiest thing to do would be to uh, repeal this, and then we can work on the other aspects yeah, of this. I, but, I, I yeah. really, really believe that's not that's not on the table. So <laughs> it's probably, uh, I think you're right. And so uh, <laughs> so again, right. it gets it gets back to uh, essential benefits being kicked to states, uh, uh, the, the, the kids, quote unquote, kids up to 26 being a state's yep. option, uh, pre-existing conditions being a state's option. I'm not sure where you are with the the, the subsidies and some of the other things in there. Uh, but there's got to be more, I think, uh, other than just not going for full repeal that, that the Freedom yeah. Caucus is, uh, is willing to, to, to give up and accept. Well, I think, I think there are many people that are willing to, to, to do these things because the things that actually drive costs down are uh, the repeal of essential health benefits, repeal of, of the community ratings and, and moving uh, to the high-risk pools, moving those to a separate, uh, separate pool. People are talking about that. I think that's what they're, they're willing to work on, and that's... And that's we're hearing, but it still is just becomes another lever for the for the uh, federal bureaucrat for Tom in this instance Tom Price or in the next administration sure, after sure. hopefully two two terms they get to determine for that waiver and don't yeah. forget this is also in a ten year bill it's just in a reconciliation bill yet so that's a ten year bill and Con so Congressman uh, you, Biggs a lot of issues it's it's a tough tough complicated thing but I think uh, I think the yeah. White House is going to put you put everyone on the spot next week. So hopefully over the weekend, everyone can figure <laughs> this out and maybe we'll get something yeah. going. Thank you.